Are you ready to put an end to 2020? Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about some games to do on Zoom. That's really annoying. Happy New Year. Hi, I'm Amy, pediatric occupational therapist and founder of Play It Be, and I'm here to provide you with some playful solutions and powerful results. Today's video is all about games to do online for your New Year's Eve party, or just if you want to have some New Year's Eve themed activities. So let's get started. I have 10 for you today, and I want you to have tons of fun. Number one, this game is called Don't Drop the Ball. Some people are great storytellers and others, not so much. You're gonna see if you can tell a story for 20 seconds. If you get stumped for more than five seconds, you're out. So you can have one person as your timekeeper and the rest have to participate in continuing a story. Anyone who can't keep it going is dropping the ball. Number two, another game you could play is 20 questions. Now your 2020 twist on this is maybe you have an object that you bought in the year 2020 and they have 20 guesses to figure out what it was. You're going to think of an object and your guests are going to have to try and ask you questions that require a yes and no answer and see if they can figure out the object within 20 questions. Number three, you're gonna play vision board. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to either use a slide or your whiteboard and you're going to ask your guests to fill out their vision board for 2021. Now you're only gonna give them two minutes. Why is that? Because when you are under pressure, you realize very quickly what you value and what is super important to you. So that's a fun way to just get to know people and it can really lead to a great conversation starter. Number four. Another game you could try is one of my most popular games and it is pictograms. And I created a New Year's Eve version for you. So you're gonna see pictures or icons together and you're gonna to try to figure out what the word is. This version of this game is a little bit tougher for really young kids. It's great though for older kids and adults because the words for New Year's Eve are kind of really serious, right? Resolution, setting goals. You know, these are words that are really not common to really little ones, but it's a great fun way to see if your guests can figure out what the word is. Number five, the next game you're gonna play is Mash Consonants. I've talked about this one in my other Zoom game videos. It is super popular. Show a word missing the vowels, and you're gonna see if your guests can figure out what the word should be. Number six. The next game you're gonna do is called Best of the Year. Now you can create this into a game or you just can do it on your own just for kicks, but you're going to give awards out to your guests and it's going to be fun different categories that you have created. And I'm gonna provide a slide for you if you want to use the ones that I created. You can have the person that has the best props, the best pet photos, the best dressed for camera. All those things, you can do different categories based on your personality, but it's a nice fun way to recognize people during your event. Number seven. Another game that I love to do are visual memory games, and I've used different versions in different Zoom game examples. This one is for New Year's Eve, so I call this game, Where's My Noisemaker? <laughs> Now, I don't know about you, whenever I've been at a party, you kind of sometimes get assigned a noisemaker, and then you're like, oh, where did I put that thing when it comes time for New Year's Eve to strike midnight? So this game, you're gonna show a slide that has all different kinds of noisemakers based on what you like. Maybe you like party horns, or maracas, or you're into drums, or whistles. You're gonna look at the slide, study it, and then when the next slide comes, you're going to take away one of those pictures and you're gonna see if your guests can figure out which one is missing. It's a really fun game, works for various age levels and it's kind of fun to see if you can really pay attention, especially if you're in an altered state. Number eight, next game is going to be Countdown. What you do for Countdown is you're going to have your guests list their top 10 favorite of any subject, X, Y, Z. So if you have a group of friends and you're really into Broadway, maybe it's their top 10 Broadway shows. 
You can also do something that's really hard. Maybe it's something that you can't think of 10 things of, and that makes it fun because they're really striving to try to get something out of their brain. Or you can even do top 10 lists of their favorite famous Amy's. You can include me if you like. Number nine, the next game I call Fireworks. You're gonna see if your guests can list situations where it's actually good to see a fire. Maybe their answers are at a campground, on a marshmallow, or maybe even at a rocket launch. These are just some scenarios that you can think of, but imagine what your guests can think of. So it just has to make a little bit of sense and see where their creativity lies. Here we are at number 10. The next game you're going to play, I call champagne. What you do is you put the word champagne on your screen and you see which guests can make the most words out of the word champagne. This may seem like there's not that many options, but trust me, I created a list of them and I kept getting more. Now I tried to use the Scrabble rules for this game. So there's some words on there that you may find a little bit strange, but they actually are in the Scrabble dictionary. So I'm gonna count those. And I might've missed some, but I gave you over 50 choices. So it's a great way to see. I doubt anyone's gonna do that really quickly. Just create your own time limit for it and you can have a lot of fun with this game. It works with a lot of age groups. Cheers. I'd like to make a toast to all of you who've been working with children online for the past nine months. Bye-bye, 2020. Did you like this video? I hope that you did. If you did, I want you to subscribe to this channel, like this video, or leave a comment. You can also head over to playabee.com where you can sign up for the monthly newsletter. You'll get discounts, news, and more. Plus, you can check out the award-winning PALS handwriting program. So I hope to see you over there as well. Until the next video, have a playful day.